I'm Michelle Bernard and I did a video about writing my first book. This is my second book, Beyond Words, Finding Fulfillment Between the Lines. My first book is Lean, Happy, Healthy You, about your body. This is about your mind. All of that will transform your body and your mind will transform your life if you pay attention to it, especially the things that I write in both these books. But I talked about, the first note that I talked about was time and how there are a lot of people telling you that you can write your first book in six weeks. And I talked about that being um, a really dangerous thing to think that is true. Why? This is my opinion. It's a very strong one too. Because if you're new to something and you think you're gonna fly through a process of something that greats have been doing most of their lives, um, it's, it's going to be a fluke if you can get it done. It's going to be something you probably started a long time ago, like you've been taking notes on it for a very long time, and all you have to do is flush out the notes and then get an editor, someone else take care of it. But for you to think that you're gonna finish a book in six, six weeks is very dangerous for people to sell that to you if you're new. And I talked about the last in the last video that when you're new, you are on a learning curve. And we can't discard the learning curve because it's good for you. And fast doesn't always mean fierce. Sometimes fast means neglectful. Sometimes fast means not ready yet. You haven't fully transformed, especially when it comes to the body, because that's what I teach. I don't teach fast transformation. I teach sustained transformation. And that's gonna take some learning. And once that learning is done, it's an automatic transformation. So the same thing happened when I was writing a book because I was told, you know, we're gonna have a certain timeline to get it finished. Here's what happened to me. I had like a major job that I loved. It wasn't taxing me. But my time to devote to writing a book was minimal. I mean, it, but it was enough to write. I felt like I was accomplishing. But what that six week deadline did to me was it started to chip away at my confidence. Because at week four, I was looking for my voice because I didn't like what I was writing. And I was trying to hit a timeline that was short, blip, blip. And I was a beginner. So automatically, that's not fair. Automatically, I was on an NBA team. Automatically, that's not fair. So what was happening at four, uh, at four weeks was, this is crap and I've got to hand this in and it's crap. I've got to hand this in to my mentor and it sucks. And why did it suck? It didn't have my voice yet. What is really important when you write a book and this is what you can do for the first six weeks, dump. Write the book and overwrite that crap. Like, I mean, I mean crap. Like if you want your book to be about this big, write five times this amount and write it for six weeks. Just write it. Because after that, what's gonna happen when you start dumping out all of your ideas and they're all conjumbled? Thank God we have computers and not typewriters. You get to scrape away, I call it comb through the thing, and then like wipe stuff off and rewrite and you'll start to find your voice. You also need to be reading while you're writing. It helped me because I read Nicola Est, I can't remember her last name, Nicola, it's right there. And she's a young adult writer and I got so many ideas about spacing, I put this in the last video, about spacing the words and white space so the reader doesn't get fatigued and short, short paragraphs so people feel accomplished when they're reading it. Like I needed to feel accomplished writing it and six weeks did not make me feel accomplished because I didn't finish in six weeks, I finished in nine months. And, uh, and also I did everything, I did the covers and so, you know, I finished the book probably in six months. But what I'm saying is, just so you don't wear down your confidence, give yourself some time. The first six weeks, dump out four to five times the amount of book you actually want to keep. And if you feel bad when you start to comb through your book and scrape away what you're not gonna keep, put it in another file, in segments, because there might be little pieces that you can pull out and use in a blog post, or you can pull out and use 
in another idea that you get, but don't hold on to it. Just put it somewhere and just stay focused on what you're working on. Your focus, your truth, and your, your, your teaching from your voice and your ideas from your true inspiration is what's important, not time. So take as long as you need, but finish your book. And let me know when you do. Mm -hmm.